Happy New Year, friends. This week's devotion is about resurrection life here and beyond. We know that Jesus' crucifixion wasn't the Father's final word. And we know that because of Christ's resurrection, we as believers could be reborn. As is redeemed, God's spirit of life is sealed in us. Galatians 2.20 tells us, My old identity has been co-crucified with Messiah and no longer lives. For the nails of his cross crucified me with him. And now the essence of this new life is no longer mine. For the anointed one lives his life through me. We live in union as one. My new life is empowered by the faith of the Son of God, who loves me so much that he gave himself for me and dispenses his life into mine. Romans 8.11 says, Yes, God raised Jesus to life, and since God's spirit of resurrection lives in you, he will also raise your dying body to life by the same spirit that breathes life into you. Ephesians 2.6 reveals, He raised us up with Christ the Exalted One, and we ascended with him into the glorious perfection and authority of the heavenly realm. For we are now co-seated as one with Christ. So we see here, friends, that we are both seated with Jesus in the heavenly realm while he lives inside of us now on earth. This means that Jesus is our superpower inside and out. Psalm 18.1 assures us, Lord, I passionately love you and I'm bonded to you, for now you've become my power. When we Christ followers know our true identity in him, that we are his chosen, that we are his treasured, his beloved, his co-glorified to bring heaven to earth, and we relinquish the pride of our ways to him and submit to his ways, he can work his resurrection power through us to bring light to a dark world. Psalm 36, 9 says, To know you is to experience a flowing fountain, drinking in your life, springing up to satisfy. In your light, we receive the light of revelation. Psalm 17, 11 tells us, For you bring me a continual revelation of resurrection life, the path to the bliss that brings me face to face with you. So here we see that Christ is our true fountain of life. We can live in Christ's continual unveiling of himself and his mysteries when we seek him and submit ourselves to him. Psalm 119.29 says, Keep me from lying to myself. Give me the privilege of knowing your instructions. Ephesians 1.9 says, And through the revelation of the Anointed One, he unveiled his secret desires to us, the hidden mystery of his long-range plan which he was delighted to implement from the very beginning of time. Jeremiah 33, 3 reveals, Call to me, and I will answer you, and tell you and even show you great and mighty things, things which have been confined and hidden, which you do not know and understand and cannot distinguish. What a blessing to have Jesus and Holy Spirit working on the inside of us to guide us on his path to live a greater life a higher life, an uncommon life, and an abundant life for kingdom purposes. Jesus is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. With him, we can soar. God assures us of an unveiled, risen life that can bring us to life on the other side of the betrayal of sin and the sin of betrayal. His way is the only way that works for our good, continually. In fact, it's important to even align our words with His, because the Word of Life has power to continually deliver us. So speak powerful words of life that give life. Romans 8 verses 7 and 13 tell us, For no matter how hard they try, God finds no pleasure with those who are controlled by the flesh. For when you live controlled by the flesh, you are about to die. But if the life of the Spirit puts to death the corrupt ways of the flesh, we then taste his abundant life. Who doesn't want abundant life? Since our ways always lead to a limited outcome and disappointment, why wouldn't we choose the way of Jesus that never disappoints? 
Jesus is true to himself and true to his word. God's promises work in our lives when we believe and follow through with actions of faith to his instructions, both written and revealed. Friends, you will never regret his love at work for you. God's Spirit will strengthen you in Him to stay the course as you depend on Him. When you feel embittered, He will bring justice as you hand Him your self-justification. He will forgive you as you turn toward Him and forgive others. He will restore to you even more than the enemy stole from you. His grace will come through for you in every situation as you reach for Him. He will satisfy all your needs and make your crooked path straight. He is a good God who desires to share his faithful life and good works with you. No matter where we are, it can be a new day for us. We are always on his mind, no matter what. Pray with me, if you will, Psalm 43, 3. Lord, thank you that you have seated me in heavenly places and that your spirit of life lives in me. Pour into me the brightness of your daybreak. Pour into me your rays of revelation truth. Let them comfort and gently lead me on this shining path, showing the way into your burning presence, into your many sanctuaries of holiness. Thank you, Lord, for helping me bring honor to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Friends, rest assured this year can be a new beginning of fresh vision and manifest expressions of His love for you. I pray that you will receive God's wisdom for your life, and I pray that out of His glorious riches, He may strengthen you with power through His Spirit and your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. Isaiah 60 verse 1 invites us, to rise up in splendor and be radiant, for your light has dawned, and Yahweh's glory now streams from you. Once we carried the likeness of the man of dust, but now let us carry the likeness of the man of heaven. Until next week, may God bless your every facet of life.